Okay, going to do a test firing of the pellet stove here just to uh, show you guys what the output is of a little device like this. So, we're all set, ready to go. And to light a uh, pellet stove such as this, I use probably about a shot or two of, uh, I use jet fuel. Um, it's pretty much just like diesel. Uh, you could use, you know, gel pellet starters or anything like that, but for some of this quick and dirty stuff, just a tiny little shot of diesel fuel will fire this thing up and uh, it won't blow up in your face or anything. And then I also use just a small wad of something. You could use a wad of uh, tissue paper, something like that, or just a, a balled up piece of paper. So you pour this inside through the mouth on top of the pellets, let it soak in about a minute, then go ahead and throw in your uh, lit ball of paper. It'll land in there, starts burning, and you wait about another minute or so and switch the fan on. So then the air will pick up and start combusting the pellets and everything. Uh, then you'll, you'll get a nice roaring burn going in no time. I've loaded this up with four pounds of pellets right now. And uh, we're going to see the electronic control system work this time, so it's going to be totally hands off. I've got it set for 15 seconds on, 8 seconds off. So it's going to be feeding you know, fairly constantly into here, so we're going to get a big flame. So let's check it out. Okay, I tossed it down in there, and the pellets are starting to light up, the ones that are soaked in the diesel fuel, and we'll give it about just only a minute, and then we turn the fan on. Okay, it's been a minute, and the stove switched on. And you'll see it flames up instantly down in here, and there's no smoke. Right now the pellet auger's on, and you can see it pushing pellets. Normally you want a little bit of a delay. You want more of a burn down in there before you start feeding pellets, but since uh, it's been initially loaded here, it takes a little bit for those pellets to really start dumping. Got the fan on. And there's the LED that tells you when the relay is clicking. for eight seconds. And see that was about seven seconds. So sometimes the relay's off a little bit. You know the uh, controller board here, but it's not enough to cause a problem. It's been about three minutes now, and the fire is really starting to take off. It's starting to get that rocket sound. It's been about five minutes. Got a nice turbo fire going in there right now. Okay, now we're getting dangerous. That's a big flame. kind of hard to see but there's about a easily an 8 to 12 inch flame coming out of the front of this thing and uh, you know there's also the fire down inside the body of it so you know this thing's putting out a, a good uh, you know at least 18 inch flame here total that's a lot of heat and then a little bit of smoke comes out the hopper because I have the uh, you know the auger chute is just too short on this thing and real close and there's no covers or no chimney or anything so you'll get a little bit of backdraft up through here. But yeah, nice and quiet, puts out a lot of heat and with this gear motor and timer set up, this thing's real reliable, it's just hands off. And there's no smoke from this thing whatsoever. keep doing this until it runs out of the four pounds of pellet. And this whole stove is just made out of 25 gauge sheet metal studs, like steel building studs. You know, the regular Dietrich brand. And I really didn't put much of a gasket in there. I just put a good one inch overlap and a whole bunch of really good quality sheet metal uh, stud screws. I don't know if you can hear the 
roaring sound. We've got a pretty good flame coming out of here now. And it'll run this big flame for as long as you want to. You just keep feeding it pellets. You know, until the ash finally chokes up in the bottom of this. But after a two hour burn, I had less than an inch of ashes in the bottom of this. So this thing's burning really efficiently and uh, really clean. And uh, there's no hard clinkers or anything like that. It's just total small amounts of ash. Pretty soon we're going to have a little bit of a hopper fire here because uh, some of that combustion flame is going to come right back in, seeing that I'm only running a little bit of pellets in here. So I've got this thing to the kind of boring and reliable part, which is nice. Um, it's not really going to last made out of 25 gauge metal like this, so I'm going to wind up building a heavier version and probably wind up welding one out of quarter inch plate steel uh, in a little while. But it definitely has the output I'm looking for, and if it were nighttime you could see how big that flame actually is out of there. It's pretty scary. You can see it's, uh, it's driving my out outdoor thermometer up to 120 over there. That, that flame is getting pretty high out of this thing, so... catch little glimpses of it there. That's easily a good 12 inch flame coming out of the front of this. But yeah, so there you have it. Really nice, simple, cheap auger control system. I think I'll be shutting it down now.